Vienna. Austrian capital undoubtedly connected to beautiful architecture, but not only. This city is also linked to art, very artistic vibe. So today I will show you art galleries and places with very interesting artistic aesthetics. Enjoy this video. If you are new to the channel, my name is Timothy. I'm Nathan, currently an expat in Amsterdam, studying business administration. I'm working in a startup. Also, I'm keen on entrepreneurship and web free. Right now, strongly developing in product management. Usually, I'm hanging around Europe and Middle East with my girlfriend. Here, I share my thoughts and adventures. Today, our plan is to see the part of the Vienna we haven't seen yesterday, and also see two art galleries with the old paintings and the modern art and the contemporary art. That will be really interesting, I think, for you also. We are in the Vienna Central, but not because you want to go further, because we locked our luggage in order to have free hands to spend the third day in Vienna. As you saw, there, there were only few people inside the church I, and I think it's normal, this is I think common social phenomenon here in like Western Europe that less and less people attend to MS. This is a totally different story in comparison to Poland or in the Eastern Europe. on our route today, so the Charles Church. This tower here looks intriguing. Also this huge dome. I hope this church is free. 10 euro almost. I think that's gross that churches are paid. I think because Austria want to be carbon neutral, they have like a lot of machines similar to this. So uh, deliveries, food deliveries or just package deliveries are made by vehicles like that, electric or uh, bikes. Now we are entering the park. Fortunately for us as students, uh, there is a lot of places that we can enter free. Of course, churches, palaces, museums are paid and paid quite a lot uh, but for example the architecture here is really really beautiful so it's a lot of things to admire for free you just have to walk through the city we are, we are walking slowly through the neighborhoods here and i'm surprised again surprised how calm and clean is this city it's just un unbelievable right now it's 1 p.m look at that clean almost no one in the streets quiet no shouting no loud cars now we are heading the artistic district in vienna i'm so thrilled it looks super nice and also it's super famous you can find easily photos from for these places on instagram let's explore i thought that it is uh, artistic district but it's only the one house but it is interesting that this house was designed by the man named Hunder Wasser he was Austrian painter and also an activist and he designed this very very characteristic house Hunder Wasser's style is very characteristic so strong colors and everything merged with nature so trees and bushes and grass on the roofs and also 
on balconies. Astronomic side in Vienna is so well developed. Unfortunately, I'm a student, so my budget is tight. Um, but if it wasn't, I would definitely go to some places and eat delicious cuisine from different different countries. Many cafeterias and restaurants has right now in summer interesting gardens with nice style and vibe. I have no idea where we are. I think this is all monastery or something like that. Like we visit some places totally spontaneously. This is a backyard or something. Today we have quite artistic route in Vienna. Belvedere in Vienna is, is a huge, huge, huge area with museum, palaces, etc. We're going to entrance only two of them. inside the exhibition in the Upper Belvedere so we will spend some time here and explore the paintings. Behind me is painting the case by Gustav Klimt so this is the painting what for most of the tourists came to this gallery. Is it worth it to pay 14 euros for that? No, but for the whole gallery, definitely. This is one of the greatest and well prepared exhibition, painting exhibition I've ever seen. So it's very good and it's worth it, its price. This is also a famous painting. I think I had it in my school book. finished with Upper Belvedere Gallery and now it's time for contemporary art, so the Belvedere 21. We are in the park, we went to this park and we have some dinner. I paid 7 euros for yogurt, this chickpea, I don't really know what is it, and salad, yeah! If you want a recommendation, this park ready to eat food is edible, is very good. Uh, and especially these dishes with some beans or the pasta. Pasta salads are very, very good. inside the exhibition. It's not, I think, worth it. Seven euros is a reduced ticket. It's quite nice if you want to spend some time and maybe you have like half evening free in Vienna. Maybe the Belvedere 21 is a good choice, but it's not, I think, world-class uh, contemporary art museum. The last major point I want to show in this video the place we've seen other day is beautiful, beautiful Schönbrunn Palace. The pearl, the real pearl of artistic architecture. Now we are in the very, very big park uh, in the suburbs of Vienna and it's super cool. A lot of places for playing, for sports, for children. The way through this park will lead us to Schönbrunn Palace. And here it is, our palace. Schönbrunn, of course, is the Pearl of Baroque. And to see it through carefully, it takes, I think, four to five hours. Uh, with the most expensive ticket, 
of over 30 euros, so quite a lot. Uh, first of all, we don't have a time for that. Uh, secondly, <laughs> we just don't want to do that. So that will be very, very brief sightseeing of this palace and I think mainly its gardens. But don't worry if you're in a budget, the gardens are really, really enough. You will see that they are very, very beautiful and full of interesting sights. Briefly, the plan is to hang around the gardens here and maybe reach the another palace. It's 25 minutes from the main palace, we'll see. The palace behind me is just looking cool and I think super super nice. Just look at that skyline from Laureate Palace Terrace. Austrian monarchs for sure didn't save on building palaces and gardens and you can see exactly that here in Schönbrunn. here in Schönbrunn Schloss. I think it's one of the most interesting. Let's notice all the details. This whole complex is just huge. We are a couple of hours hanging around. There is not enough to cover all places and nooks of this park. I'm not talking even about the greenhouses, the museums and the palace itself. Huge, huge area. If you want to see everything carefully, reserve whole day for that. Today in Belvedere 21 is the opening of the new exhibition. So there is a great free wine at the venue. Here's guys from Vienna. I think there is no better ending of sightseeing Vienna than pricey glass of wine. So from this place, thank you for watching. Thank you for being with me in Vienna today. See you in another video. Bye. Bye.